Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Christine with Powder Crafts and today we are here with the Flavor of the Month card kit by Scrapping for Less for the month of May. The theme is in the countryside and today we will be working with collection number two. Collection number two includes paper from Down on the Farm by Doodlebug. Um, this adorable little stamp set from Sunny Studio called Miss Moo. We have some farm chit chat. We also have some icon stickers in there and of course a sequin packet. I'm just gonna open this up. Let's dump out the contents and see what we have here. So with the stamp sets, if there's images in them that I can cut out, I do go ahead and stamp them all out and um, cut them out ahead of time. In this case, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have six of these cows. We have these really great icon stickers. We have some chit chat here. Probably won't use nay um, because I don't have any horse images and my icon sticker sheet does not have any horse images so I'm, I'm kind of off the bat know that I'm not probably going to use this. I probably also am not going to use Country Fair. Um, this might be a great scrapbooking piece. Um, so I think I'm just going to put it aside for things to scrapbook. Nay, I don't have anything. I mean, maybe if we get to, to some paper that is horse related, maybe. Have a farmtastic day. I do think that would be of great use. Also, cows it going, and you can't go wrong with just a blue star. So I'm just gonna kind of toss those aside right now. Here's our sequin mix. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my little bowl. I tend to lose those, and I'm probably also gonna put these little pieces also in that bowl. Oh, look, we've got also a high. That way I don't tend, sometimes I tend to lose things on the desk, so that little bowl helps keep things together. Now, I think I had some pretty great pattern papers in this particular kit. I have busy paper and plain paper. Um, and of course this little um, sheet here which has some really cute sentiments on here utterly awesome hogs and kisses and love you um, it's too bad they're not all like on one side because then I could use this great pattern paper on the back I mean so we'll just have to see what what comes out of this okay so Scrapping for Less also has card sheets. These are sketch sheets here. Um, in collection number one, I did use sketch one and sketch three. I think for this first card, we're gonna use sketch four. Um, there's opportunities for lots of different pattern paper and a great sentiment and we can make like a little scene here um, maybe with some of those icon stickers. So usually what I do is I'm probably going to choose two pattern paper, something a little more solid, uh, and then I'm going to cut a white piece of cardstock down for this part for a scene. So Usually I'll pick a very busy pattern and then a not so busy pattern. 
And I really like this here because it's got all these little chicks on one side and the chicken wire on the other. And this might be a great one to use for a busy and then less busy because they also really go well together. Um, we got flowers and some um, like wood planks, like a barn would be made of uh, or, or house. Um, we have this one here with horses and some wood grain. Now I could use that Nay um, speech bubble with this paper, but um, I, I don't, at least at this point, I'm not envisioning that working out very well. But anyway, we have this really cute sheep and some flowers and this teal and um, green, let's see. If I look what I'm gonna make a scene with, I can either use the cow or the icon stickers. This is now me just thinking. I think for this one, I'm going to use this sheet paper. I think that I'm going to use some of this teal paper. I think I'm gonna create a scene with the icon stickers. And I'm gonna convert this sketch, I think, to um, more of a landscape. Okay, so I think we're gonna start with that. Okay, so I cut the pattern paper down and for whatever reason, I measured wrong. <laughs> so um, I added this little strip here, which I actually really like, so um, you know, happy accident. So I cut down a piece of the um, whipped cream, yeah, the whipped cream cardstock. We're gonna put this down for our base. I cut a circle out instead of using the rectangle. And then I just used some green cardstock from my stash. You can use any kind of circle you want if you have any green paper, you could cut that down for some grass. Um, you could just color it with um, pencils or markers. You could use distress ink. So whatever you have to add a little bit of grass to the bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead and I have some adhesive on the back. We're going to add that to this piece. It, it doesn't really matter because it's a circle where I put it on here as long as the little scallops line up. Because it's a circle, so I can just turn it any way I want when I add. There we go. And I thought maybe I'd put the cow down, but because I'd had the idea that I was gonna use the sticker icons and there's a sheep here, I am going to just stick with, with the sticker icons. So I know I want to use the little sheep here. Um, I'm just gonna put him right there. And Hmm, I think I'm gonna use the tree. So we're gonna go ahead and put the tree right here. And I'm gonna put this down in this little corner and then I'm going to use this little sentiment here that says, have a farmtastic day. <clears throat> so I'm gonna adhere this piece just straight on to the card base. And 
And I'm going to pop this up on some foam and the sentiment up on, on some foam. So I have this little scrap piece here. I think that's going to fit pretty much on the back of here. Let's see if I put it on that way. Then I'll just cut this little extra off on the side that's a little thick. I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive. To the back. I'm going to pull the sticker part off because my foam has adhesive already on one side. And for this part here, I'm just going to use some scraps scrap foam pieces that I have. I tend to just go ahead and add adhesive to the whole thing and then I just cut it where I need it to be cut. Go ahead and we'll add this piece right here. Oh, it's sticking out just a Hair. So we're going to cut that out and I think I'm going to put a little bit more right here. Okay. Sometimes when they get to be this small too, it starts to turn into a sticky mess with the adhesive. But I'm just trying to finish using this little strip up. I don't really think I can put too much more down. Go ahead and pull all my little pieces off. Now, my foam tape is not the same color, and unless somebody really looks for it, it's not really going to matter. We're going to go ahead and pop that right there. And there we have card number one from the collection two, and this is my interpretation of sketch number four. Um, sketches are great because it gives you an idea of where to start and sometimes you just end up with something a little bit different. Um, so let's take a look and see what we're gonna do for card number two. Okay, so card number two, let's take a peek. I'm probably going to pick my papers first. Let's see. I really like, where'd it go? There we go, this floral um, here. So I think I'm gonna use that. I think with some of the white cardstock, I'm gonna cut a circle and we're gonna add like a little cow friend and probably the little sentiment, cow's it going. Um, so, um, that's what the card number two is going to be. So let's put this aside. 
Okay. So I've gone ahead and cut the pattern paper down. I have a piece of white cardstock for my card base. We cut a scallop circle out along with some grass from some of the um, scrap from the first card. <clears throat> we used that back part of the first card, so we have that here. For a little image, and we are going to color our little cow. So I'm just gonna put those aside. Um, I have Spectrum Noir and Copic, so varying so we're going to use those different markers today. Um, some colors I don't have with Spectrum Noir and some colors I have in Spectrum Noir that I don't have with Copic. So here's our little cow image. I'm going to start off with this one here. It's um, Barley Beige number E11. And we're just going to use this one here to color around the mouth. I'm just doing very simple coloring today. Not working on shading because a lot of the colors that I wanted to use to color the cow, I don't have multiple shades of. Um, so that's all we're doing with this one here, E11. Then, just because this is only going to be a very small amount. I'm going to use this one here. It's T Rose E93 from Copic. Just going to underline the inside of the ear. That's all I'm doing with this one. That's E93. Um, so for the little flower, I'm using this Copic marker here. Um, this one does not have a name on it. It oh, it says prune. BV02. So I'm just going to go in, just add a little bit of purple to our little flower. Then I'm taking this yellow Y06, adding just a dab in the middle of that flower. And for the spots. I am using my um, Spectrum Noir IG10. This is a pretty dark gray. It's what I use when I want things to be um, black in color. So we're just going to go ahead and color the spots. This one's going to be kind of interesting because it kind of goes over the eye and I accidentally just colored the little eye spot but I'll get a white gel pen and we'll fix that. I find that my markers tend to bleed, so a lot of times I'll just kind of work around the edges, not too close to that edge, and I do a lot of dotting because sometimes it will the ink will spread out. Because I can always go in and fill in a little bit if I need to, but you can't take that color back. Then I'm just going to go over the hooves also with the same color. Again, keeping this coloring super simple. Now I'm not sure if that's part of a hoof or part of just part of the leg, so I... I'm going to just pretend it's part of the foot and we're gonna go ahead and dot some of this last bit of color in there. Then I'm going to go in with this color here. This is cool gray number three, C3. This is the lightest gray color I have. So I'm just gonna co go in and just put some little lines of the gray, kind of go around the spots 
and just kind of outline the cow. I'm just going to do a little bit here on the tail. Then I'm going to just kind of go in with my blender pen that I have from Spectrum Noir. It's just a regular old blender pen. Um, I will be using the broad end of this one because I find that it's a little easier to kind of smooth out some of those rough lines a little bit. And it won't be perfect because my blender is in need of a refill or a replacement. Probably a replacement because I don't, there's nowhere local I can get Spectrum Noir refills. But I just kind of go in, soften it a little bit. It's not the best, but I like it. And then just gonna go in with a little bullet tip for the um, for the tail, and then kind of um, right here for the little horns. I just kind of pick up a little bit of of that gray from around here and just put a little bit up there. Okay, so there's our little cow. Now because I colored in her eye, I'm going to grab, no, those two are silver. Where's my white one? Let's try again. Oh, that one's black. So this is just my little white jelly roll pen. I'm gonna just move this out of view for a minute so I have a better look at where that eye is. And just go ahead, I'm gonna put that little dot in. I also put a little dot in the other one so that it was kind of looked similar. So I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to our panel with that beautiful flower on it. Okay. And we've got our little white panel, our white circle there. So I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this one. Right now I'll, I'll adjust it to where I want it after. I just want these little scallop parts to line up as best I can. There we go. And I'm gonna put the cow up on some foam. I'm just gonna use some fun foam here. ahead and okay all right let me um let me put adhesive on here first before I put that cow down because once I put that cow down on adhesive it'll be a little bit trickier to put the tape runner on here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put that one there. I think I'm also going to put the sentiment up on some foam, some of that green foam I had earlier. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to put our cow down first. Take that off. I think that's going to go right about there, but I'm not going to press it down until I make sure my sentiment gets put where it needs to go to. Okay. So I think I put that... Okay, there we go. Card number two. Okay, so for card number three, we're going to use this sketch number two here um, from the card sketches. Let's see. I really like this paper, so I think I think I want to use the um, chicken wire as our background. Then, with the scrap left over, use one of the one of those scraps for one of the shapes here. I think we'll use this scrap that I have left over. Um, for this part here and mm, I'm just trying to see if I have any good scraps left. Pro I don't think so. So we might have to maybe use this pattern here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut these papers down. Okay, so in typical fashion, I started with one sketch and move into something different. So, I mean, this was the inspiration for what I'm about to do, but when I was looking at the papers that I have left, I didn't feel like um, any of them went really well with the little chickens here and the chicken wire. I mean, I could have probably made something work, um, but I, I, I decided that I really liked this paper here. Let's make that a little bit bigger. We're gonna keep the circle shape. So basically I'm getting rid of the second and this little strip here. So I have, um, I have some black cardstock for my card base. I have this panel of, for the chicken wire. I have my little chicken paper, and then I cut out a circle with some white cardstock. I have this here. So I'm gonna use some blue Distress Ink for the sky, and then we're gonna use the, what is that, like a, is that a, Oh, why can't I think of it? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. We're going to use this image and the, the little chicken and the egg image, if possible. Maybe um, some of the little flowers. Um, so first I'm going to just color this with some distressed ink. Okay. So I have my trusty distress ink, the tumbled glass. This is what I use for most of my sky especially when I want a light just a light blue I don't want um, I don't want anything really dark I'm just using just small strokes um, instead of like the circular motion. I find that if your um, ink pad, like, well, this isn't the ink pad, but like this, this little sponge, for me, this has been well used. And I'm not gonna get too many um, harsh lines with that doing it this way um but also I shake the table a whole lot less <laughs> and 
and um, the tripod I use sits on the table. So I'm trying to avoid too much shaking. So I have just a really faint blue, just to kind of like, um, you know, make the background not so white. Now I did cut out this little piece here. I'm gonna just move this. Um, again, this is just more of that same, that same um, paper that we have had for a lot of the other grass. I think I wanna put a little further down here cause this is darker than on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that down. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab our stickers here. Okay, so I'm gonna just grab our little windmill. I don't know why I couldn't think of that earlier. You know, sometimes like words are right there at the tip of your tongue, but you just can't quite remember. That's kind of what I just felt like. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take um, the little chicken stickers and we're going to put those on here. I think I'm going to take these little flowers. Hmm. Now I don't know if I think I almost think this is like just too big to put on here, I'm gonna just pop this right back on. And what about if we just put like this little single flower. And then we're just gonna use this, whoops, wrong color. Let me grab the green. It's a green, this is just a, um, a gel pen, like the Inkjoy gel pens. We're just gonna draw little stem and a couple little leaves on there okay so I'm gonna put some adhesive on this piece okay so I've got some adhesive on here we're gonna grab our card base Make sure it's going the right way. Let me go ahead and place this down. Right, I've already went ahead and also put some adhesive on our little strip here. This I want to put up on some foam. Just gonna grab some scraps from my little container of little scrap pieces of foam. I don't think I'm going to use a sentiment on this card. I think I'm going to just leave it blank. Um, what I have for this kit, um, we're just gonna put that right there. We have this here for county fair and I have this nay. I could use this high. Um, but I don't really want it to kind of get lost, so we're going to use that for something else. And the stamp set, I get, I could use It's Your Birthday, but 
but I think for right now I'm just going to leave it a blank card. Um, because I used a black card base, I am going to put a white mat on the inside here. And there we have it, card number three. So card number four, I feel like I want to make a shaker card with this paper here. So I think what I want to do is um, use some rectangle dies. I think I'm going to use this one here. We're going to make this a landscape card. And what's nice about using um, this one here for a shaker card, and we're going to use this one for the inside. I think it's going to be a nice big shaker card. So I'm going to use this um, horse paper for the inside, but on the other side of this is this really nice wood grain pattern, um, and we're going to use that for like our frame. So I'm going to cut these pieces and get a card base. Okay, so I went ahead, um, I cut a card base with some white cardstock. I went ahead and made, made my shaker panel. So I um, cut out this piece. Um, I put a piece of acetate on there and um, added my foam. Got a little bit of glue, okay, at least it's on the outside. So I can take care of that later. Okay, so now I'm going to figure out how to stick this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add adhesive to it. Let's see. I'm just gonna place it gently where I think it needs to go. I'm gonna put my frame over it to see if that looks pretty lined up. It's a little bit to this side. So let's see if we can. Let's try that. Hmm. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and now just sure there are easier ways to do this that's how I do it okay now that I have that down I'm going to go ahead and add my sequins now with the foam that I use you know this is a big shaker I'm just going to dump them all in actually um it's not very thick can you see that so I want to make sure that there's no piles. So I'm gonna kind of just spread these around. Now pretty much anywhere on the paper is fine for it for the sequence to be. And they don't have to be like completely like single, but um it definitely helps because I've had it where I didn't make sure that they were not piled and then they get stuck. And once you adhere, or at least the way I make them, once I adhere, adhere this down, they're not going to move very easily if they are piled too much one on top of the other. So... I'm going to go ahead, add my frame. Now this part's the tricky part because this foam is super sticky. There we go. That looks good. Now, remember this nay at the beginning when I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to use that. I'm totally going to just stick this up in the corner because these are all little horses in there. And now I'm just going to adhere that right up in this little corner. 
And I think I want to add just this little bale of hay. Let's see how this will look. I'm just gonna put this right here. Okay, so there we are, card number four. So we have all of our cards done for collection two. So we have, there's card one, card two, three, and four. Thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned. Collection number three will be out soon. If you want to see what I received in this kit, I'll link the unboxing video below. Um, if you want to see what I made with collection one, I'll also link that video below. Um, but until next time, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But until next time, bye.